Our home Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and the only world known to support an atmosphere with free oxygen, oceans of liquid water on the surface, and of course, life. We got a lot going on as Earthlings. But at the end of the day, there's so much more happening on our planet than we could ever fully comprehend. And these next videos are just a handful of the astounding findings we've come across since the Earth was born 4.5 billion years ago. From human garbage at the bottom of the ocean to isolated tribes in the furthest reaches of the rainforest. 20 amazing discoveries that shocked the world. <laughs> World's Largest Tesla Tower Have you ever seen a curious concoction of towering tubes like this? We didn't think so. Seemingly abandoned in a forest near Moscow, let's talk about the detailed backstory of this futuristic machine. While it may look like a sci-fi set piece, its real use is much more interesting. The towering Marx generator, sometimes mistaken for a Tesla coil, was constructed by the Russian Electrical Engineering Institute in the 1970s to test lightning insulation. It had been used for testing the resistance of aircraft to lightning, but got abandoned after the collapse of the Soviet Union. According to reports, the machine is still periodically brought back into use. The facility is absolutely unique. Nothing like it exists anywhere else in the world, primarily because of its outstanding charge capacity. At its peak operating capacity, the giant Marx generator, when lightning is discharged onto an isolated platform, has power equal to all power generation facilities in Russia, including thermoelectric, hydroelectric, nuclear, solar, and wind power stations combined, but only for about 100 microseconds. So a caution to would-be explorers, if you see your hair standing on end, the air is bristling with a man-made storm. Several trees burned to a crisp around the test bench served as a reminder that lightning is difficult to control. A flat tire leads them to a discovery that can change history. It looks like someone's unfortunate mishap on the road ended up leading these archaeologists to a discovery nobody could have thought possible. Dragon remains. Dragons hold a special place in the world of mythical beasts. They started out as snakes, they evolved into fire-breathing, flying monsters that both terrorize and charm us. But where did the idea for dragons come from in the first place? How did these magnificent creatures squirm and soar their way into our imaginations and mythology? No one knows for sure, of course, but the origin of dragons may have been more scientific than it seems. But according to medieval legend, the town of Klagenfurt in Austria was founded on a marsh that was home to a dragon. As is traditional with dragons, this one gobbled up anyone who tried to cross the marsh. In the 16th century, some people found a fossilized skull they thought belonged to the dragon. As it turned out, the skull belonged instead to a woolly mammoth. That sort of confusion may have been at the root of all dragon myths. So how do you explain what has been found here? Dragon-like shape, wings, serpentine tail? Just saying. Comment below with your epic ideas and make sure to include the hashtag open discussion. Rhodotus palmatus. Commonly known as the wrinkled peach, the wrinkles on its cap, vibrant shade of orange pink, and varying gill lengths beneath its cap make this species a stunner to look at. You can find this fungus growing from felled hardwoods in the eastern half of North America, Europe, and throughout most of Asia. If you look up this fungus yourself, you will notice that it varies in its appearance quite a bit. Some have extremely defined cap wrinkles, while others are smoother. Their colors too vary, from electric pink pale peach to more dominating yellow hues. Back in 1980, researchers wanted to better understand what drove this variance in the species' appearance. With their work, we now know the spectrum available light that penetrates to the forest floor drives the species' colorful variations. The wrinkled peach fungus is a pioneer species when it comes to decomposition. Unlike many species that prefer woody substrates, largely broken down by subsequent fungi, peach fungi have an affinity for freshly felled hardwoods. Many specimens are found fruiting from elm trees, with a lesser occurrence found on horse chestnut, basswood, and maple. In the field, this phenotype would be found growing beneath a dense green canopy. And if you go looking for these fun fungi, they are pretty difficult to miss. The Yanomami tribe. 
The people of the Yanomami tribe live in the remote forest of the Orneoka River Basin. In the southern Venezuela and the northernmost reaches of the Amazon River Basin in northern Brazil. In the early 21st century, the Yanomami probably numbered about 32,000 individuals throughout their range. The Yanomami practice agriculture and live in small scattered semi-permanent villages. They supplement their crop of tobacco, plantains, corn, and other vegetables with gathered fruits, nuts, seeds, and honey. They hunt monkeys, deer, fowl, and armadillos. They grow cotton too, an important trade and domestic item used in the manufacture of string for hammocks, nets, containers, and clothing. The Yanomami live in vine and leaf thatched houses in palisade villages surrounded by garden plots. They relocate their villages when the soil wears out or when a village has become too susceptible to attack by other tribes. Yanomami are constantly at war with one another and much of their social life centers on forming alliances through trade and sharing food with other friendly groups, while waging war against hostile villages. In 1991, the government set aside an area of 36,000 square miles, roughly 30% of their ancestral territory, as a protected homeland. Hoplobactricus tigeneris, commonly known as the Indian bullfrog, check out this unique large species of fork-tongued frog. The Indian bullfrog inhabits a comparatively broad swath of the globe, despite the suggestiveness of its common name. While its range does include the country of India, the creature actually exists in many regions throughout the continent of Asia. As an amphibian, these naturally include moist areas, frequently consisting of freshwater wetlands, including man-made paddy fields. More specifically, most specimens inhabit bushes and holes located very close to the water. From there, it seeks its prey, being carnivorous in nature, like other frogs. Given its size, it's primarily preying on small mammals, invertebrates, and even small birds. Many people consider it to be an invasive species, largely due to its voracious appetite. During most of the season, both genders are a rather dull, khaki olive green. This helps them camouflage pretty well. But once the mating season comes around, things change drastically. Males put on their bright suits to impress all the frisky females. Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> they turn yellow except for the vocal sacs, which turn blue. It's not exactly clear how this works, but it's believed that the brighter the color, the more attractive the male is. Hieroglyphs in Sudan. Archaeologists have uncovered the remains of a temple dating back to around 2700 years to a time when a kingdom called Kush ruled over a vast area, including what is now Sudan, Egypt, and parts of the Middle East. The temple remains were found at a medieval citadel at Old Dongola, a site located near the Nile River. The discovery was a surprise since no finds dating as far back as 2700 years were known from Old Dongola. Some of the temple's stone blocks were decorated with figures and hieroglyphic inscriptions, including one mentioning that the temple is dedicated to Amun-Ra, a god worshipped at a time known as the 25th dynasty. An analysis of the iconography and scripts suggests that they were part of a structure dating to the first half of the first millennium BC. The 25th dynasty was a line of pharaohs who originated in the kingdom of Kush that reigned in part or all of ancient Egypt for nearly a century, from 744 to 656 BC. The 25th dynasty's reunification of Egypt created the largest Egyptian empire since the New Kingdom. They assimilated into society by reaffirming ancient Egyptian religious traditions, temples, and artistic forms, while introducing some unique aspects of culture all their own. The blocks and hieroglyphs found at Old Dongola are the earliest examples of human activity on the site identified so far. Viking Era Cave When it comes to Vikings, it's go big or go home. Ongoing excavations of Viking-era man-made caves in South Iceland have revealed an extensive system of interconnected structures that is not only much larger than originally thought, but also much older. There really are no words to describe it, one archaeologist said of the experience on standing in what is one of the best-preserved man-made structures of the Viking era. The first intact man-made cave was discovered in 2018, which is a remarkable discovery in and of itself. But further investigation of the site revealed a much larger cave connected to the first. It is this cave that is currently being excavated by experts. The historic site was once one of Iceland's most important cultural and political seats and home to a powerful Viking clan that was there during the 11th and 12th centuries, the height of their power. 
the excavation is unique in terms of how demanding on-site conditions are. The caves are not only at a significant depth, which is dangerous for the archaeologists involved in digging them out, but also built into sandstone. The rock is so porous that it just crumbles. However, it's thought that the caves were not used for very long and were mainly used for storing livestock. New Species of Venomous Snake A team of researchers in India has discovered a new species of venomous snake. The snake has been named Maya's Pit Viper, after the deceased mother of an army officer who helped to find the fascinating animal. The name of the Pit Viper is also believed to allude to Maya, meaning the supernatural powers related to local legends. However, the new species of snake isn't always reason to celebrate. In a country where around 1.2 million people have lost their lives owning to snake bites, this discovery means a lot in the context of public health. Vipers are known for their extreme fangs, which are long, hollow, hinged, and rotatable. These fangs connect to venom glands located behind the eyes at the back of the upper part of the jaw. Venom travels down through the hollow teeth to be injected into the prey as the viper bites and it gets worse. This viper has, in addition to two movable fangs, a heat-sensitive pit organ between each eye and nostril, which together help it accurately aim its strike at its unfortunate warm-blooded prey. They often appear sluggish compared to other snakes. This is because many vipers rely on their camouflage for protection, rather than their ability to move quickly. Nevertheless, vipers like Maya's pit viper have a speedy strike. Buddhist Temple Archaeologists discovered a mysterious ancient temple in Pakistan. According to reports, the well-preserved temple is 2300 years old. Interestingly, archaeologists also discovered coins, an onyx-made seal, and many other pots and plates with ancient inscriptions on them. Located in the town of Bariko, the structure likely dates to the 2nd century BCE, according to a statement. It was built atop an earlier Buddhist temple dated to as early as the 3rd century BCE. The excavation site is in the historical region of Gandhara, a trade crossroads and cultural meeting place between India, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Hindu, Buddhist, and Indo-Greek rulers seized control of Gandhara at different points throughout the first millennium. The temple's ruins stand around 10 feet tall. They consist of a ceremonial platform that once was topped by a stupa, or dome often found on Buddhist shrines. At its peak, the temple boasted a smaller stupa at the front, a room for monks, the podium of a column or pillar, a staircase, vestibule rooms, and a public courtyard that overlooked a road. The discovery of this great religious monument, created at the time of the Indo-Greek kingdom, testifies that this was an important and ancient center for cult and pilgrimage. A new species of Platylomia coemesis a professor of zoology found a new cicada species in the Naga Hills of Nagaland, on the border between India and Burma. And this is big news. No new cicada was discovered after those found by entomologists in the Naga Hills in the early 1900s. The collection site of this big bug was a semi-disturbed forest patch, with human activities as evident nearby in the form of farming and agricultural land. Some cicadas they discovered prefer only certain tree species found in its undisturbed forests, but not this one. That's why the discovery is so unique. Cicadas are insects known for their loud, complex, and species-specific acoustic signals or songs. The newly discovered cicada sings only for a few hours when this mega bug was discovered. The zoologist was resting in a farmhouse during the cicada expedition when this unique sound could be heard. The expert initially thought it was coming from a tree frog. Sometime after dusk, a few more of these calls were heard, isolated and never in a chorus coming from a patch of smaller trees. The cackling timbalization from a nearby oak tree led to the discovery of the new cicada variety. Most of these insects sound their call during the day, but this one calls only for a few hours around dusk, and they were in the right place at the right time to make the big bug discovery. Hidden corridor in the Great Pyramid of Giza Ancient Egypt is still full of surprises. A 30-foot-long corridor has been discovered close to the main entrance of the 4,500-year-old Great Pyramid of Giza, which is the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The pyramid was constructed as a monumental tomb around 2500 BC during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu. 
It now stands at 456 feet and was the tallest structure made by humans until the Eiffel Tower in Paris in 1889. Scientists have been using non-invasive technology, including infrared thermography, 3D simulations, and cosmic ray imaging to look inside the structure. Scientists detected the corridor through cosmic ray moon radiography. Before retrieving images of it by feeding an endoscope through a tiny joint in the pyramid stones. The unfinished corridor was likely created to redistribute the pyramid's weight around the main entrance, which is about 22 feet away, or around another undiscovered chamber or space. Five rooms on top of the king's burial chamber in another part of the pyramid are also thought to have been built to redistribute the weight of the massive structure. The discovery could contribute to knowledge about the construction of the pyramid. It's just another new secret that the Great Pyramid keeps revealing. Chinese Sinkhole Forest Known as Heavenly Pit, in the Mandarin language, this particular sinkhole in China was first identified on satellite images by an experienced sinkhole finder poring over satellite images and sharing finds in a closed network of explorers in the region. After he spotted it, a team of eight scientists and explorers was then assembled to confirm its existence. Even better, an ancient forest was found at the bottom, with trees up to 130 feet tall. Scientists believe it could contain undiscovered plant and animal species. The sinkhole-filled landscape is known as karst landscape, formed primarily by the dissolution of bedrock by groundwater. This means dramatic sinkholes and caves are created throughout the area. According to experts, because southern China is home to such vast karst topography, its landscape is prone to dramatic sinkholes and otherworldly caves. This one is rare, however, as it is deep but shaped so enough light filters in, which means the large trees can grow. Among 30 sinkholes in the region of China, this is the largest at 1,000 feet long, 490 feet wide, and 629 feet deep. That's a big hole. Scientists wouldn't be surprised to know that there are species found in these caves that have never been reported or described by science until now. California Aglaza did you know? Sea slugs, which are real plant-animal hybrids, are animals that can synthesize food as a result of symbiosis. Green algae were consumed by the sea slugs' ancestors. The algae entered the animal's tissue rather than being digested, which allowed the animal to acquire photosynthetic genes. Check out this large species of predatory sea slug, the California aglaja. Growing up to 10 inches in length, their body can be tan, black, or purple with yellowish streaks. Yellow or orange streaks and blue dots are visible on the margins. It has two large folds that run the length of either side of the body and almost touch at the midsection. This species possesses a small internal shell. Without question, the most voracious of all Eastern Pacific sea slugs. It's a master of sea slug stealth and attack. If you have ever observed this creature feeding in the wild or inadvertently left one in the same bucket with another critter, you were delighted to collect you will understand explicitly by the unfortunate bystander's sudden disappearance. Their keen ability to locate both a mate and prey is enabled by a pair of bristle-covered sensory mounds on each side of the mouth. These organs are thought to be capable of detecting complex sugars found in the slime trails produced by numerous sea slugs and pheromones in the slime trails of potential mates. Dragon Painting at St. George Church this basilica in Naples, Italy was built between the end of the 4th and the beginning of the 5th century AD, and behind the main altar wrapped in a semicircle of white columns, you could admire two masterpieces of Neapolitan painting of the 16th century, particularly the Battle of St. George and the Dragon. It is just behind the second one that lurks the surprising painting. A sturdy frame with hinges on which the canvas is situated moves like a massive book that opens and reveals the magnificent painting behind it. The hidden fresco, which is still intact today, has been brought to light by a recent restoration. Its colors are still vibrant. The work has an intense emotional charge and a striking impact. It brings the spectator back to the fairy tale atmospheres of medieval myth. The protagonist of the scene is the white horse that is driven by a hardened warrior San Giorgio, who pierces the monstrous creature with a sharp lance pointing straight at its mouth. The dragon seems like an extraordinary beast of pure fantasy fighting the warrior. Below its feet, we can see its meal, young innocent reduced to carcasses. In the background, a woman flees in fear. 
Killing the dragon, San Giorgio saves the king's young daughter. It's an epic scenario of mythic proportions. A bottle discovered at the deepest point on Earth. The Challenger Deep is the deepest known place on Earth, with a depth of about 35,853 feet. It's located at the southern end of the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean. It's the last place on Earth you'd expect to see this, a beer bottle. Recently, scientist Dawn Wright made history as she dove into the deepest place on Earth, Challenger Deep. Her mission? To use high-resolution sonar to map a part of our planet in never-before-seen detail. What did they see immediately upon touching the bottom? You're looking at it. And that's not all. Scientists have discovered extraordinary levels of toxic pollution in the Mariana Trench. Small crustaceans that live in the pitch black waters of the trench, captured by a robotic submarine, were contaminated with 50 times more toxic chemicals than crabs that survive in the heaviest polluted rivers in Asia. When garbage gets down into the trenches, there's nowhere else for it to go. The surprise was just how high the levels were. The contamination in the animals was sky high. An expedition conducted by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration recently also found various man-made items on the slopes leading to the Serena Deep, part of the Mariana Trench. They included a tin of canned beef, a can of beer, and several plastic bags. NASA discovered asteroid 2023DW. According to experts, a newly spotted asteroid called 2023DW is one to keep an eye on. The rock, with a diameter of almost 164 feet, has a chance of slamming into Earth on Valentine's Day 2046. For comparison purposes, a similar size asteroid caused the Tunguska event in 1908. That asteroid exploded before hitting the ground, but flattened around 80 million trees across an area of 830 square miles. That's an area almost as big as Cape Town in South Africa. Though the affected region was largely unpopulated at the time, however, comparisons are very difficult to make. The effects of any potential hit will depend on factors such as the asteroid's speed, impact angle, and the composition of the asteroid itself, which are all unknown at this point. What we do know is that 2023DW is some 13 million miles away from Earth right now speeding along at a velocity of 55,095 miles per hour. Admittedly, the chance of a direct strike is currently rated as very small by NASA, and around 1 in 625 or 0.16% by experts. We're free to interpret and respond to those odds as we wish, but we won't be moving to an underground bunker just yet. You can see its movements in real time in comparison with the rest of the solar system via the rather impressive Eyes on Asteroids tracker site from NASA. Didymoplexus Stella Silvae If you think plants can't grow in the dark, think again. Deep within Madagascar's dense forest, scientists have discovered an unusual plant that doesn't use the process of photosynthesis to grow. Known as the ghost orchid, the unusual orchid was named Didymoplexus stella silvae, star of the forest, as it grows in darkness and has star-shaped flowers. So how does it grow? Well, it has no leaves or chlorophyll for photosynthesis, so it gets all its nutrients from underground fungi. This new species was one of 16 orchid species discovered in the remote forests of Madagascar. With around 400,000 plant species all over the world, almost half are threatened with extinction. This is mainly due to the destruction of forests for agriculture, industry, and mining, as well as over-exploitation. Climate change, biodiversity loss, invasive species, pollution, and palm oil plantations. Scientists across the world have named roughly 2,000 new plant species every year for at least a decade. But now, some say that time is running out to find them all. There are more than 25,000 species of orchid, making it the largest group of plants. The first orchid seemed to evolve about 112 million years ago. A long time ago in terms of flowering plants, but relatively young in terms of life on Earth as a whole. World's Largest Ice Fish Colony A breeding colony of 60 million fish has been discovered in Antarctica's ice-covered Weddell Sea, a unique and previously unknown ecosystem. 1,200 miles south of the southernmost tip of Antarctica, the breeding colony was discovered in 2021 by a German polar research vessel, which was surveying the seabed about half a quarter mile below the ship. It used a car-sized camera system attached to the stern of the ship that transmits pictures up to the deck as it's being towed. The vast colony, believed to be the world's largest, is home to the remarkable ice fish, which has a see-through skull and transparent blood the only vertebrates to have no red blood cells. 
To survive at such low temperatures, it has evolved an antifreeze protein in its transparent blood that stops ice crystals from growing. The research team knew that this area of the seafloor has an upwelling of warm water, so they thought they might see something interesting. But they certainly weren't prepared to see thousands upon thousands of fish nests. In the footage, they directly observed more than 16,000 nests. Most of the nests they found were guarded by a single adult fish, protecting on average more than 1,700 eggs. This is the largest fish breeding colony yet discovered and appears to be a globally unique ecosystem. Flower Preserved in Amber The largest known flower fossil to be preserved in amber, thought to be at least 34 million years old, has been described by scientists as extraordinary and beautiful. Measuring about an inch wide, the flower is about three times the size of other preserved blooms. It comes from an evergreen plant and was discovered in the Baltic forests of northern Europe. The Baltic region is home to the largest known deposit of amber, called Baltic amber, produced sometime between 56 to 33.9 million years ago. These forests produced more than 100,000 tons of amber, it's estimated. Being trapped in amber allowed the bloom to act like a time capsule with its petals, stem, and pollen preserved in detail. Pollen grains encased in amber were released by the stamen too. It is very exceptional to find such a large flower in amber, with the stamens at the perfect point of being just about to open to release their pollen, while the flower was retained by resin. The discovery gives valuable insights into past life and climate, as well as the evolution of forests. The findings about this extraordinary and beautiful flower are additional puzzle pieces that allow us to decipher the flora of the Baltic Amber Forest. This new knowledge helps us to gain deeper insights into the forests of Earth's history and to understand their evolution in time and space. Pit filled with giant hands A team of archaeologists excavating a palace in the ancient city of Avaris in Egypt has made a gruesome discovery. The archaeologists have unearthed the skeletons of 16 human hands buried in four pits. Two of the pits located in front of what is believed to be a throne room hold one hand each. Two other pits constructed at a slightly later time in an outer space of the palace contain the 14 remaining hands. They are all right hands, there are no lefts. The finds made in the Nile Delta northeast of Cairo date back to about 3600 years to a time when the Hyksos, a people believed to be originally from northern Canaan, controlled part of Egypt and made their capital at Avaris, a location known today as Tel El Daba. The hands appear to be the first physical evidence of a practice attested to in ancient Egypt's writing and art, in which a soldier would present the cut-off right hand of an enemy in exchange for gold. Cutting off the right hand specifically not only would have made counting victims easier, it would have served the symbolic purpose of taking away an enemy's strength. Scientists are not certain who started this gruesome tradition. No records of the practice have been found, so it could have been an Egyptian tradition they picked up or vice versa. Or it could have originated from somewhere else. 43,000 year old sealed tomb Egyptologists have uncovered a pharaonic tomb near the capital of Cairo in Egypt, containing what may be the oldest and most complete mummy yet to be discovered in the country, according to experts. The 4,300-year-old mummy was found at the bottom of a 50-foot shaft in a recently uncovered group of 5th and 6th dynasty tombs. The mummy was in a limestone sarcophagus that had been sealed in mortar. But that's not all. Numerous statues were found among the tombs, including one representing a man and his wife and several servants, the statement said. Another tomb belonged to Mary, known as the Keeper of the Secrets and assistant to the great leader of the palace. Additionally, researchers have made many other discoveries, such as dozens of burial sites from the New Kingdom era, which dates from 1800 to 1600 BC, near the southern city of Luxor. Additionally, a group of scientists announced details about a previously uncovered mummified teenage boy. Through the use of CT scans, they were able to shed new light on the boy's high social status by examining the intricate details of the amulets inserted in his mummified body, as well as the type of burial he received. Ancient Egypt really is the gift that keeps on giving, historically. The wonders of the world never cease to impress, and as we've learned today, there is even more out there that we could have imagined. The best part? There are more amazing and shocking discoveries to come.